find all the solutions of cos 2x uh, is equal to 0 0.4587 between 0 to 2 pi. So it's a good idea to first do it algebraically and then we'll check it on a graphic calculator. So let's first write the general uh, the general solution. It's good to have a general sol uh, to write in this and uh, this example in the general solution form. So what does it say? Okay, let me use a different color. If if cos theta is equal to cos alpha, if cos theta is equal to cos alpha, then theta is equal to two n pi. 2n pi plus or minus alpha. This is a general solution. Now, if you have cos on both sides, the same thing implies. If this implies that if theta is equal to alpha, if you can write theta is equal to alpha, this implies theta is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. Okay, so this is what we going, we want to write this in this form. So, from this form, if I want to cancel this cos, so can I do cos inverse of cos of 2x is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.4587, 4587. So, well, cos inverse and cons cos cancel each other out, so I can say 2x is equal to cos inverse of this. So first I need to check my setting whether it's in radians or degrees. It's in degrees, so I'll change this into radians. And I'll go, I'll let me drag this, so I can say shift cos bracket, sorry cos inverse of 0 0.4587. Close the bracket, equal. So I can say this is 1.0942 or 094 in 1, 2, 3. Okay, if you want to round it in 4 dp, it will be 1.0943. So I can say, well, that is 1.0943. So what have we said? So let's rewrite this. So can we say? If theta is equal to alpha, and that's what we have said, if theta is equal to alpha, this implies theta is 2n pi plus or minus alpha. So you can compare this with theta with 2x and alpha with this. So, well, I can say, uh, what can I say? I can say 2x is equal to 2n pi, 2n pi plus or minus alpha, which is 1.0943. And now I can divide the whole thing by 2. So x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus. Uh, sorry, so let me go back. It should be in dividing by 2. This will become n pi plus or minus dividing by so let me divide by 2. I should have done the rounding at this step. So I can say rounding it to 4 dp, it will be 0 0.575471. So it's uh, 0. 0. What's the number? 5471. 5, 5, 4, in 4 dp. We're almost there. So this is a general solution, and now we want to write all the solution between 0 and 2 pi. So if you want to write this as a decimal, so this is x is between 0, and 2 pi is how much? 6 point, roughly 2, 8. Okay, 2 pi is, we want to find all the solution between 0 and 6.28. So <coughs> if you put, say, 0 here, yeah? so let's start with 0. So if n is 0, say if n is equal to 0, this implies. Or you can also use uh, a graphic calculator. So, 
so I'll show you how to do this on the graphic calculator. Go to table menu, just to, so the equation is n, so in place of n you can put x, so you can say this is x times pi, shift pi, plus uh, 0 0.5471 and you can also put a minus there so that is x shift pi minus 0 0.5471 sorry so x shift pi minus 0 0.5471 so let me go say from say minus phi to plus phi and write all the except all the values so we don't want this y2 so I think it's a derivative is on its derivative is off yeah sorry so this is y1 so okay so let me go back so this means so this means this has got two answers here so x is equal to n pi n pi plus 0 0.5471 that's one possible answer this is in your y1 in your graphic calculator or x is equal to n pi minus 0 0.5471 this is there in y2 so let me bring your calculator so this is we're not accepting this value because we want not on this is acceptable we want between 0 and 6.28 so here is one value 5.471 okay when n is 0, zero. so we are accepting this we can accept 3.68 and 2.59 okay and then we can ex we can accept 5.73 we can't accept this so let's go one more so that's all so here the four solution or the three solutions so this is one solution 0 0.54 0 0.5471 this is the next one this is the third one and this is the fourth one there are four solutions and it does make sense because you got within two, 360 you got uh, you got four solution okay so because this has a period of 180 so let's confirm this graphically so first let me go to graph and uh, let me delete this and type in cos 2x just like that and I have to check my setting it should be in uh, it should be in, in radians that's fine and then I'll go from say trig from 0 to 2 shift pi and then graph it so you've got two cycles and go gsol y calc sorry x calc and for y you go 0 0.4587 so this is your first value this is your second value, this is your third, and this is your fourth. So you can write all the four values. So these are this is how you find all possible solutions.